Hi guys, my name is Katie or Kiwi Does Art, and today we're going to be texturing our uh, fridge model. So um, it, this is going to kind of be up to you guys, um, just in terms of like what you want it to look like. You could do like metal handles in like a plain white fridge. You could do a full metal fridge. Um, you could do a full white fridge. Uh, it kind of depends what you want to do. So. What I kind of think I want to do is go ahead and texture it all white and then do the handles as metal. So let's grab both of these guys and uh, hold right click, do assign new material, shader, AI standard surface, and leave it white. I would put diffuse roughness up a bit. Um, let's go ahead and click Arnold and grab a sky dome light and then you can click seven and see how the white light's playing out. If you click five, it'll go back to your standard shading. All right, and then I just wanna go ahead and go into face mode and um, just gonna hold tab and just grab each of these rings. So you can kind of go through and just select them. This is if you wanna make these uh, metal, which I I think I wanna try, so I'm gonna I'm just clicking and then double clicking to get the full ring. So click, double click, click, double click. All right, and then don't forget to do this guy as well. Ooh. If you mess up, you can always just undo. <laughs> I use that feature a lot. Okay, there we go. Go ahead, hold right click and do assign new material, shader, AI standard surface, and then I'm gonna make this color like a gray-ish, maybe like a light gray. Turn metalness all the way up. Let's click seven. And then you can go to Arnold render and see how the metal is kind of like turning out on it. I think mine's a little too dark for my liking, so I'll bring the color up a bit. And then I'm also just gonna make the actual fridge a little less diffusing on the light. And then I'm gonna go to poly modeling and grab a plane, click R and just scale it up. That way we have kind of something for our fridge to land on. I usually assign a new material to that and do standard surface. And then if you click this little checkers, I usually grab the checker texture um, just cause it's kind of fun to see how your textures play with that. So as you can see like our metal, like reflects it a ton. Um, okay, I'm gonna actually make the metal do a little bit less reflecting. So maybe not so much metalness. Maybe up the diffusing. And then technically you can play around with like the actual fridge textures. So like if you wanted to play around with like it possibly being like, um, maybe like granite would be interesting, but then change all the colors to be like really, really light um, in terms of like gray and Darker gray. White. That'll give it like a little bit of texture at least. That might be kind of fun to have in your fridge. Again, that's kind of totally up to you. Um, you could also make the fridge like entirely black if you wanted to. So that might be kind of cool. Um, I would probably just do that by changing the coat and then changing it to black. Then it's like kind of retro and fun. Actually, I think I'm gonna stick with that. I like that idea. You can up the roughness on it um, unless you want it to be like a really reflective fridge. <laughs> um, yeah, I would bring roughness up. But I kind of like the idea of doing the fridge. It reminds me of like the retros, like 50s first fridges where they're like fun, like fun blues and stuff. You know what I mean? They have like a cool like blue fridge or like a fun red fridge. 
when they're like first coming out with fridges. <laughs> I think um, I'll stick with black because I think it looks really kind of modern and fun. Um, yeah, but that's basically it for our fridge. So totally feel free to like mess around and, and play with those colors, um, those textures. Totally up to you. But I will see you guys next time for our next tutorial. Bye guys.